hello welcome to another exciting video in this video today i'm gonna review a shocking prediction of the market to you guys and how you can be able to get such sniper zero drawdown entry but before i do that there's something i need to share with us okay quickly on my telegram channel this was early this morning when we were in on a sell on gpb usd okay so upon seeing this um i made an entry on step index a sell entry okay as you can see when it was running down so i had to draw out this trend line so guess what i told the group while i'm on this sell guys guess what i told the group okay look at what i told the group i told the group that a buy at the trend line upon rejection so what happened as i was on the sell i've already seen ahead of time that that will be a buy upon the rejection at the trend line okay so that was a pre-information while we are still holding our GPB USD, okay, which was about um close to 20 pips. Okay, so at this very point, the cell that I have in my step index hits the trend line. So when the cell hit the trend line, guess what I told them? Here, I told them taking profit here. Remember what I told you guys. And what did I tell them? I told them that we're going to go in for a buy at touch and the rejection of the trend line okay so when i came back again to the chart i saw that the move has already started so i dropped this signal to them so now let's go to the chart and see how everything played out okay so this is what i've already made on the buy so let's go to the chart and prove this so guys on this chart look at the setup if we zoom in we check previously what the market has done discover that the market made a first touch here rejected down make a lower low it was at below this went up again at the same point went down again make another lower low okay then coming up again still make another low but this time didn't break the previous low meaning that the market broke the trend line so the market touched first touched the second time the third time then upon the fourth one the market broke the trend line so now when the market broke the trend line, I know that there will be a retracing or a retesting of the trend line. So that is why when the market came up here, made this double top, upon rejection, I entered the cell, waiting for it to come to this trend line again. So now look at it. So I saw it when I made an entry here, when it was coming down, that is going to hit here. So upon hitting here, look at what exactly happened. So I waited for the rejections, which I told the group. So upon these rejections, and a bullish and govern. So why did I wait to see a bullish and govern? I know that the market was in a downward movement, actually. But I had to wait for me to get a bullish and govern, which represents that the buyers has taken over the market. It's true that we have predicted that the market is going to reverse, okay, to the upside. But we couldn't just, as it touched, we'll go in. No, you have to wait. This is where some of you get it wrong. Why do you have to wait? Because there is a situation whereby the market will throw this rejection, go up, throw another rejection, which might be below the trend line before it now started the up movement. Mm -hmm. So you got to apply the patient necessary for this trade. Okay? So patient must be invoked. So what is the patient going to help you to do? The patient is going to help you in order to not have much drawdown. Because most times you guys make entries, then upon the drawdown, you go out from the market. The market will reverse back to the same direction which you have predicted it to go before. So for you to be safe in the market, guys, you just have to um, allow the market to show you a sign that the direction in which you want to trade has taken over the market. Okay? So it's not a gambling, it's not a, a playful issue. So you just have to master what you do and understand how it works. Okay, so if you also check at this value level, which the market reverse, you see that we have a psychological level, a strong psychological level of 8620. Okay, so this is another confluence. So these are two confluence gotten. The psychological level of 8620, I've shown us previously, time without numbering, how to get your psychological level and also your sub-psychological level. So these are the key main levels that you need to get in order to um justify your trend line okay so now 
where was the indicator when this occurred? If you were in the chart when this occurred, you discovered that the indicator was at the 55 level. And I have told us several that the 55 level is an indecision level. Okay? An indecision level, whereas the buyers and the sellers come in context in which any of them can take advantage of the market. So for you to be on the right path, remember, you must justify your move with your trend line or with your horizontal line. Okay, you must justify another confluence. At least you got to get up to two to three confluence before you make this very entry. And patient need to work. Now let me show you what patient could have do. So if you couldn't wait, and when the market did this here, you would have go in. Probably when you go in now, then the market makes this rejection down. It's gonna kick you out. Probably your SL might be somewhere here. Then the market will kick you out. Now here comes the big move. You would have missed all this. So that's why you have to exercise pressure. Allow the market to hove in, hove out, push out the hunters. Then there comes the main movement. So okay, I'm just trying to um, put this together. I'm just trying to break it down to our understanding, okay? Because I believe you two can make such entry and uh, probably go away with a good money from the market, okay? So now this was where I I told the group to take profit, okay? This was the level I assumed to take profit, but why I'm still holding is because I haven't seen that strong rejection. So upon seeing a strong rejection, I'm going to close. But so far, I think that the market is doing good. I think that the market is paying very well. So if I am to recall, what was the um, confluences? One is the trend line, the break and retest of a trend line. So typically, this video is just a breakdown on how to trade break and retest of a trend line. Okay, so for you to do that, you must have to see the trend line, touch, touch, touch and break okay this is the third touch on the fourth touch the trend line break so it broke out so the trend line here was acting as a resistance so when the market comes to it at the third touch it broke so what we just entered is the what retesting of the trend line so this video is just a typical strategic explanation on how to trade break of a, a trend line okay so now, what mostly you have to take home is that you don't just hove in on the touch of the retesting. Allow the market to give you some bullish moves or bearish moves depending on the direction in which you are waiting for the market or in which the market is retesting. So this is exactly how to trade a break and retest of a trend line. So if you have been looking for a way or a strategy to trade break and retest, this is just it. This is a hundred percent accurate, okay, strategy to trade break and retest of a trend line. So, guys, I've just given you out this. This is what people pay to get, but I'm just giving it out for free so that you guys can also learn. For those that are interested to learn, because I have told us several not to rely on signals. Okay, signals can fail, and also why you need to learn is that when you, when you even get a signal from someone, you can be able to understand or justify if the signal is real or not okay so you don't have to go into a signal um blindly without getting any knowledge of what you are going in for so this is just a 50 percent of what to determine your accuracy in the market your win rate in the market then your psychology comes to play and your risk management so these are the things you must put together in order to be a successful um trader Okay, guys, so I'm not going to make the video a short one, but I just want to explain to us how to trade a break and retest of a trend line. Okay, guys, so see you guys in the next video. Away.